What's up YouTube? Chris here with Trust 360 I um, just thought I'd bring you guys a quick tutorial. I know it's been a while since I've actually come out with a video. I actually recorded a video on how to update your all's um, RGH or JTAG consoles to the newest dashboard, but it wouldn't want to render past 88% for some reason, so I had to put a hold off on that, figure out that issue so I can get that video out to you guys. But in the meantime, I'll teach you guys how to jailbreak your iOS 7 devices. Um, this is, you know, iPads, iPhones, um, iPods, uh, pretty much uh, those three categories all the way up to 7.1.2, and that's actually what I'll be doing today. Um, I've jailbroken an iPhone 4, an iPhone 4S, and now I'm going to jailbreak uh, one of my 5Cs. Um, so, uh, again, sorry for not uploading for a while, but uh, enough with all that. Let's just go ahead and jump in th into this tutorial. Um, some things to go over before we actually get into it. Um, if you have updated your iOS firmware via OTA update, that's over the air or over you know your Wi-Fi network, then you're going to need to back up your phone or iPad or whatever you're jailbreaking over uh, iTunes, and then you're going to need to restore it using an IPSW file. Um, this can be found on this website here. A link will be in the description. Um, and then what you'll do, you'll just download the iOS firmware matching to your device. So in this case, since I am doing the 5C, I went ahead and downloaded the iPhone 5C GSM for 7.1.2. Now the 5C was on 7.1.1, so instead of having to restore and um, restore from a backup, I've actually just had to update using the IPSW file no backup needed and you'll be able to jailbreak uh, seamlessly keeping all your files on there without having to go through that extra trouble but if you are on 7.1.2 and you're wanting to jailbreak it you are going to have to um, back it up or it won't go through if you update it over the air or of your Wi-Fi network so once you have that uh, downloaded that matches up to your file um, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and go to this website here again this will be in the description um, it's called Pangu and this is a new um, jailbreak team out on the scene and they came out with the 7.1 through 7.1.2 jailbreak which is pretty cool um, so I'm using a Mac uh, so I click download here if not click Windows and download it there I already have that uh, downloaded and installed so there's really no need to do that also something to go over really quick um, if you don't know what uh, model your iPhone is as you can see you've got GSM and CDMA those are the two um, types of phones um, one has a SIM card one doesn't that's the difference between those two um, just go to Google type in what is what model is my iPhone and uh, Apple actually has a list you can just look at the model number on the back of the device and figure out if it's a GSM or a CDMA so once you have all that figured out and you have all that downloaded just go ahead and open up where you have Pangu download as you can see I have you know different firmwares for different phones um, this one is the one I used for the one I'll actually be doing now these are about 1.3 gigabytes so it will take a little bit to download if you have a slow internet speed if you have a fast one kinda like mine's pretty you know somewhat fast 10 to 15 megabytes so it only took about 10 minutes uh, to download so once you have that uh, downloaded um, and you have restored it um, go ahead and open up Pangu. Now if you don't know how to restore that um, all you need to do is go into iTunes go uh, to the phone and where it says update or restore either hold an option for Mac users or alt for Windows users and then click on it and it will allow you to actually select the file that you want to update from so you just go to wherever you download the IPSW file and restore it from that so just uh, d double click Pangu right here and then click open as you can see it reads iPhone 5 colon or colon golly it's it's late comma 3 with iOS 7.1.2 as you can see it does say jailbreak here so just go ahead and click jailbreak and it will tell you to go onto the settings icon on the phone scroll down to general go to the date and time settings go ahead and turn off set automatically and change your date to June 2nd Now I'm actually doing this as I'm talking it uh, you know talking to you guys about it and um, sorry I don't have a camera set up to actually show you what I'm doing on the phone but if you follow it as you can see now that I did that it's gonna continue the process sometimes you'll get this an error in, uh, occurred when injecting the app 
I've noticed that it actually has failed uh, on two phones that I've done. So just simply, you know, get past this, just close it out. Go ahead and double click it again, open it up. And since you already have the date and time settings, it's not going to prompt you to change them. So just go ahead and click jailbreak. And I'm actually glad that did happen. Um, hopefully the other error happens so I can fix it for you on this tutorial as well because um, I want to show you guys, you know, the worst possible scenario and how to bypass that if you guys do encounter that. So that's better than, you know, having to go into the comments and replying to each and every one of you. If it does happen, you'll be able to see it. So I'm just going to speed this up really quick and I'll come back when this is done. Alright guys, now as you can see it says please tap the Pangu icon. Just go ahead and click that on the device and then click continue. If you look down on your device there should be an icon there. Um, it says keep the device connected and do not close the app. So it's just going to do this for about 5 to 7 minutes on average. And uh, after that it should uh, go ahead and jailbreak, reboot a couple of times and you'll be ready to go install Cydia and all that good stuff. Alright guys, now uh, as you can see it says rebooting device. The device actually down here on my desk is rebooting. Um, when it reboots it should go right back to the uh, lock screen um, and it should say, uh, you know, preparing and then it's going to start cleaning up the device which is pretty much is just cleaning up the storage that it used to jailbreak the device. Um, so we're just going to give it a couple, a couple of seconds to go ahead and boot back up and we'll continue from there. And that, that made a nice vibrating noise. Just wait for this to boot. Again, this doesn't really take that long, especially with the 5C. I've noticed it's a lot better with that uh, that new cable that they have. Um, transfer speeds are insane on these. So, I mean, it is, it is a lot quicker with the newer model phones with that. Uh, I don't want to call it wrong. I want to say lightning or something similar like that um, those type of cords. So as you can see it says cleaning up and now says done. Uh, once it says done uh, you can close this out as you can see connecting all that good stuff but it will read that it has been jailbroken so just go ahead and close all these out guys and don't need this anymore as well and it's booting up for the last time um, so we're just gonna wait for this to boot up and during this last boot you're gonna see a, a new unforeseen I guess you can say animation it's gonna open up Pangu it'll say welcome to the Pangu jailbreak it'll set up the kernel and it says uh, ready to load the system enjoy um, so that means you are jailbroken um, you can do all the things that you have done before if you've jailbroken before um, if not just uh, stay tuned I'll up upload some videos about tweaks and different things that you can do for that and this is uh, hopefully a way I can get back to uploading it's a little easier than actually getting onto my Xbox uh, performing mods and things like that so if you unlock the device now that it has booted up uh, for the last time and scroll over you should now see the Cydia icon now Cydia if you don't know is essentially the marketplace for jailbreaking so just go ahead and click Cydia and then it'll say preparing file system Cydia will exit when complete uh, when that completes and it exits it'll actually reboot the device again and then when you go into Cydia you'll be able to use that and download all your tweaks and jailbreak uh, uh, themes things like that through there so you guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this video like I said if you need any help uh, leave comments in the comment section below make sure you um, shoot me a PM anything like that just get a hold of me and I'll, I'll be glad to help you all out um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.